Hey guys, today we are making rosehip infused oil. Uh, we're using rosehip tea bags. Uh, we're using two ounces of tea bags. Um, and that is an ounce of tea bags right here. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 ounces of avocado. in our quart jar and then we are going to put we're going to put another Ten ounces of first press, cold press, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And then we are going to put our tea bags in, and that's one ounce of tea bags on each container. And these are organic uh, rose hip tea bags. You can see the rose hips in there. Let's see. No, it was this one. Okay. And then we're going to put. A half an ounce of jojoba in each one. And now uh, olive oil is the most moisturizing for the skin and uh, avocado, wonderful for the skin. Uh, and then jojoba has the ability to um, uh, defeat the, 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 the bacteria from acne, I believe. It's like an anti-serum. Okay, and then um, got to find the jar lids. Da, 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 da. I'll bring you back, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, now I've, I found my lids and I don't know what these are doing here. <laughs> and now we're going to put an ounce of argon. Okay. And we're going to put, this is very expensive oil as well. I think I got that zero. Uh, we're going to put a half an ounce of calendual oil. Okay. Okay. Um, these are not airtight. These are just to keep the moisture out. Okay. And I brought my my jar. I brought my water to a rapid boil. And now I'm putting my quart jars in there. And we don't want a rapid boil now. Uh, we want uh, we want that to just uh, simmer, uh, have a, a, a simmering boil uh, for 20 minutes, and I'll bring you back and let you see that process. 
Okay, <clears throat> that's the kind of boil we want. Just a simmering boil. And I wrote this down, just want to make sure I got it all good. 10 ounces of avocado per quart jar, 10 ounces of olive per quart jar, one ounce of argon, one half ounce of jojoba, one half ounce of calendral, and then that is one ounce of tea bags, and that was including the bag. So, one ounce tea bags. Okay? Now, you know me, I can never do anything without playing with a little bit of essential oil if I can help it. And um, rose hip, uh, of course, is from the rose bush. So geranium is in the rose family. So I thought it would be nice to add some geranium. Uh, this is for the face. Everybody's Dr. Oz is having freaky fits about how awesome rose hip is for the face. Uh, and so all my customers are wanting this. So some rosemary is an anti-ager. So that's a great um, a thing. And of course that is a cosmetic claim. Uh, <clears throat> and then this is cedar wood. And when you put um, rosemary and geranium together with a touch of cedar wood, you get a rose smell. So that's why we're going to go with that. And of course, look at the most adorable, gorgeous labels of Essential Depot. And uh, so that's what we're going to use. And so I'm going to uh, see what percentage of essential oils I need. Um, and I will bring you back. Okay, we have a nice simmering boil. And now we're going to figure out our essential oil blend. Yes, geranium um, has the qualities of rose when it comes to health benefits for the skin. Um, okay, we're going to tear that out. And then, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pipelets. Um, we need one. 0.2 ounces of essential oil per quart jar. So we're going to put one, two, three tablespoons of cedar wood. And I mean, tablespoons, three drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine rosemary. And we're going to do nine geranium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I might have got an extra drop in there. So that would be three parts of the rosemary and, and rosemary to one part of the cedar wood. And we're going to stir that around. Yes, and that smells just like roses. So that would be our ratio. So if we did um, 0.3 of cedar wood and that leaves us nine left no, that would not be right. Point 0.2. Well, I know we have 10, 11, 12. We have 12 points. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we divide that by 7. Hang on. That's point, no, 1.7 each. 
um, on those points, not an ounce 0.7, but 1.7 on the points. So if we rounded that up to two, that would be that two points uh, was one. So that means we do point two of the cedar wood and then um, and then we do the rest in the in the um, rosemary and the geranium. So I'll figure all that out and bring you back. Okay, so that means we would do point five of rose of rosemary and point five of geranium and then Point two of cedar wood and this is it roughly a five percent because we're just using this on the face and I'm going to add uh, one more point of the cedar wood Okay, so it's point three because it needed the woodsy smell was lacking. Ah, that is it. The smell of rose. All right. So we'll do that again. Point five of geranium. Point five of rosemary. And I went over a point, we'll live with that. And point three of cedar wood. And as I said, I'm using cedar wood, 0.3, geranium, 0.5, and rosemary, 0.5, for each quart jar. And we have those ready. Let me check the time. Okay, we've still got uh, eight more minutes that we need to... Uh, boil these uh, or simmer boil them so I'll bring you back okay guys now we have made a rose hip oil and now this still has to sit for at least a week okay and now we got to check our temperature and I've alcoholed this for sanitary purposes and my hands and my fingernail polish looks horrible I have been making so many products and the alcohol just eats my fingernail polish off I'm so sorry guys I just look terrible okay so we are above 160 so we've got to let that cool before we can add our essential oil so I'm going to separate it Okay, but we don't want to put it in the refrigerator because we need the heat to do the job. So, we are going to let that cool naturally, and I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, we are down to 140. We could have waited until we were like 160 or touch below, 
but 140 is fine. Let's smell this stuff now. Oh God, it smells good. All right, so now we're going, oh, I'm gonna need a spatula. A spatula. I want to alcohol that. Hang on. Make sure we're nice and sanitary. Now we're going to put our essential oils in. Now you can use the same blend for soap. It was one part uh, cedar wood, but I ended up touching it up just a touch more, to three parts rosemary and three parts um, geranium for a rose smell. And the benefits of rose and rosemary. Let's give it a sniff. Oh God, that's wonderful. Okay, so now what we'll do is, is these are not airtight lids. We're gonna put these down. Oh, I got something on that one. And now we're gonna let this sit for a week. And you can let it sit for longer if you want to. And then when all this is done, uh, you can drop these down into one, two, eight ounce uh, bottles and sell that if you want to sell it at the farmer's market. It's you would call it rose hip infused oil with the scent of rose. And, and then you could put in your ingredients, your oils, largest to smallest, and then add your essential oils to the ingredients list. And um, you, um, um, you would just add rose hips as one of the ingredients. Uh, we did an ounce bag, so I want to assume it was about a half an ounce of rose hips each. Um, so that would be a good ratio, but you you know you could you might uh, take the bags and remove all the products you might can I might be able to get that information from the website where I purchased the rose hip uh, bags as to how much is in each one but there you go that is our rose hip oil uh, rose hip infused oil now we'll just let it cool down naturally because the heating process is a part of the of the extraction and then we're going to let this sit a week and then I will cap this up and sell it in one ounce bottles with a dropper. All right. Okay. And um, uh, you could call, you know, acne care is a cosmetic term. Um, Anti-aging um, is a cosmetic ta uh, term. So that's some of the things that you could uh, say uh, regarding this product. All right, thank you so much. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I thank you so much for liking my videos. I thank you for commenting on my videos. Um, I thank you so much for using my Essential Depot link to buy therapeutic, organic, rosemary, geranium, and cedarwood. Uh, also, I thank you for uh, using my link to buy your um, <clears throat> avocado oil. This would also be fine with almond, but we have so many problems with nut allergies. You know, I don't use almond uh, oil very often. Uh, <clears throat> you can use 100% olive oil. Um, and also for uh, purchasing your jojoba and your argon oil from Essential Depot by using my link. Uh, you can find my link. Um, at KimberlyMacNut.com, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y-M-C-N-U-T-T, and also you can find it at www.essential-soaps.com, and I hope that by giving you this free recipe with exactly what to put in there, um, it is worthy of me asking you to use my Essential Depot link if you would please and if you were going to purchase from essential depot these most awesome products because they have the absolute very best that's their motto the very best at the very best prices all right y'all have a wonderful day bye